Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. I am back with another video. So in this video, we are going to see how to create material spinner in Android Studio with the help of Java. And you can also use Kotlin if you want. So I try to find out lots of tutorials or lots of blogs on how to create material spinner, but I didn't find any good blog to how to create it effectively. So I thought to make a video on it. So before starting this video, let's see a demo what we actually are going to make. So you can see I open my phone and this is the application we are going to create. So you can see this is the material spinner. It is the, not a normal spinner. It is a material spinner. So by default, you can see it is showing the hint. You can set any hint according to your own application need. Now, if I click on a, this spinner, you can see it show me the items. So you can add as many item. It is totally depend on you. Let us suppose I select this one. So you can see now the item is displayed here and I also get the toast. So it means clicking working successfully. So in today's video, we are going to create this same design in Android studio. So don't further delay. Now let's start the video and see how to make it. And if you don't like the video till now, then please like the video. And if you don't subscribe the channel till now, then please subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification. So now let's start the video. So for this, what you have to do, first of all, open your render studio and go to file and click on new and new project. You can implement this material spinner in your existing project. It is totally dependent on you. Now give any, I am giving just here material spinner tutorial. You can give any name, click on okay so our project is building so let's wait for a gradle build then we will start writing the code so project build successful so first of all i need to delete this text view and i need to change it to relative layout but you can use any layout now i am going to create spinner inside in this video but the procedure to creating this kind of spinner is not to take a spinner inside of a layout file we need to take a text input layout inside this so you can also read in on official talks on material design so how to create this but you will not going to find the java code for that so that's why i created the main purpose of this video how to set java code with this xml code that's why so for this just, just need to take a text input layout here text input layout and uh, here we need to set the match parent right? you can set red content and i am just giving the margin here margin atdp to place it into center here so this is fine now you can set any hint so i am just typing here type but you can set any it is totally depend on you now the main thing we need to set the style so style inside this style you can see we have lots of option so you can set this one outline dex, dense expose drop down i am going to use this but you can use other options as well you can use field one or other thing it is totally depend on you now close this text input layout and after closing text input layout what we need we need a auto complete text view inside this where we are going to set the adapter on our so we can show the items so i take auto complete text view set the layout with match parent prep content now give any id so i am giving here filled exposed you can give any id name it is your choice and inside this you can mention the input type none so now you can see our spinner is created successfully now we need to add an items inside this with the help of adapter but let before adding the item first of all we need to design a custom item this is the same procedure which we have to follow in recycler view if we want to show the list of uh, items in a recycler view then we need to create a separate item design so for this right click on expand the resource folder expand layout right click here then new then have resource file so i am just giving here drop down item you can give any file name it is your choice click on split now here first of all i am going to change the constraint layout to directly to the text view just give a padding so i am giving a padding 16 dp then we have a max lines so max lines one ellipse size n and then what we have we have a text appearance so text appearance so we need to set it to subtitle one material components subtitle one this one and change it to rep content so this is fine now come inside our activity main activity.java and here we will going to write the code how to set the adapter on this and how to set on click listener on this mm -hmm. so for this what we have first of all what we need to take here we need to declare a string here to store the items which i want in my spinner so for this simply take an array here string type of array and then type and inside this equal new string and now you can add as many items it is totally dependent on you so i am just adding bad and then let's set up and by using in this way you can add as many items it is your choice so i am going to copy paste the code from my previous project only of this array 
so copy this and paste it here so now it is fine now we need to take an array adapter so array adapter inside this take a string here string this is the adapter type of string equal then new array adapter and inside this first of all we need to pass the context second thing we need to pass the our layout r dot layout dot drop down item and third thing which we need to pass here type which is which is our array name and at last we need to add a semicolon here now we need to assign the xml id to java id so autocomplete text view add a text autocomplete text view equal then find view id r dot id dot build exposed i give this id name here you can see I give this ID in field exposed as well. Now we need to set adapter on this. So auto complete sort set adapter and inside this we need to pass the adapter. So our adapter name is adapter. So I just pass this. Now if someone click on any item, then we if you have a choice whether you want to show the toast or not, but the main thing how to get that text. So for this, just you need to type here auto complete text you dot set on item, click listener. This is the same methods which you have in adapter. The new cap and capital O and press enter, and you can see inside this you will get that item so now it is your choice how you want to use this item so i am just making a toast here toast.make text main activity dot this and the i am going to get the text from my edit autocomplete text dot get text to string and then toast.length short and then dot show so this is done so our project is ready now it's time to check our app whether the app is working or not I and mean, if it is working fine then we will end this video so i press on run button so you can see it is installed successfully and you can see I am getting the options here. So you can customize this completely. It contains lots of customization because everything is you, you create a separate thing for this. You have a separate item, you have a separate design. So you can customize this according to your own choice. So if I click on any item, you can see I am getting the toast of that item. So I hope guys you like this video and uh, you learn something new in this video. If you have any question, if you have any query, just comment down below. I will try to give the answer of every kind. Please like the video. Please subscribe the channel for more. And so thank you guys. See you soon in next amazing video. Thank you.